Hello everyone, my name is Li Hao. Welcome back to Introduction to Transition. So in the previous video, we've seen how we can use delay and the local modifier to coordinate between transitions. So today, we're going to fix the bug that was mentioned in the previous video. So the bug was like this. We added a delay based on the index of the item in the list so that when we have multiple items, when we try to close it and try to play it, the item is added in succession. However, because the delay is based on the index, um, the, the, the transition, whether it's coming in, is being added as item or the transition is being played together as the, with the list, it's the same transition. So now the delay when we add the third item is going to be very long because that is how we've coded over here. So what we're going to do in this video is to try to see whether uh, we can have a condition for the delay. So we're going to have this condition based on whether the list is being shown. If the list has been shown, then whenever we add a new item, the condition should be true and the item should be added with no delay. If the list is not on the screen, try to add the list item, then the condition should be false and each of the items should be played with a delay. So over here, I'm going to have, I'm going to write this condition list dot shown. Then the delay will be zero. And if the list is not being shown, the delay will be based on the index. So now what we're going to do is how or when are we going to update this value? The list dot shown. We can do this using a custom transitions event. So on the list item, we can have a few custom transition events such as on intro start, on intro end, on outro start, and on outro end. As with the name suggests, intro start will be played when the intro transition starts to play. And when it ends, you will call this event handler. And if you have outro, when it starts playing, this event will be triggered. And then when it ends, this will be played. All right, so these are the events handlers. So now we can add event handler for intro end and outro end. I'm going to remove this too. So now intro end, we're going to set the list.shown equals to true. And on the outro end, we're going to set list.shown equals to false. So let's see what we have right now. When we click on it, you have a delay. So when you click on this element, you have a certain delay when you are showing the item. But when you try to add a new item, because the list of shown is true, there's no more delay. I try to close this and try to play again. The delay is based on the index. But if I add a new item, it shows immediately. So a summary of what we've done so far. We have a custom condition to determine what is the delay of the item. And then we also seen a custom event for transitions such as intro start, intro end, outro start and outro end. So we have seen how we can use delay and duration to customize a transition. But there's one more thing that we haven't covered, which is easing. Easing can add a lot of flavors to a transition. And that's what we're going to look at in the next video. So thank you for staying till the end. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to stay notified with my next video, please hit the subscribe button down below. As always, stay safe and well. See you next time.